So I'll be getting a lot of questions about uh, how my prosthetic arm works for weightlifting. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a, it's a three-pronged process to keep the arm on. Uh, everyone keeps asking me how does it stay on when I'm doing chins or uh, pulling exercises. I'll show you. First off, you get a, a silicon liner made by Ossa. Roll it on. It's got a locking pin on the end. Now this just screws on, screws off. So that's your first phase of holding them on the arm. Uh, the second phase, it's just a rubber inner, so it's pretty pliable, but it's still rigid. Put your arm in there, you see the pin comes through a little hole in the end, and it goes over your elbow. So you can't fully extend, but when it's bent, it anchors on your elbow. It's not gonna come off. The third stage is a carbon fiber liner. So this has a, a locking pin attachment inside. So you put the uh, rubber sheath in, and it just locks. You can hear it locking in. There's a button here, press that, it pulls back out. Now the holes in it aren't decorative, they're just to allow expansion. Lock in, and then you've got the Velcro, which locks under the elbow. So you just pull that through, lock it in. You, that's your three prong process of keeping the arm on. You got the pin, you got the rubber over your elbow, then you've got the, uh, the, the Velcro to secure it onto the end of your elbow. That's not gonna come off. Now what you're gonna have to get is some attachments. My prosthetist makes uh, all of this stuff for me. Besides the Ossa liner, you can just get that from Ossa. Uh, the attachments that I have is a thick hook for doing pulling exercises that basically just snaps on there. You can throw it over a bar, around a bar. Uh, you can hook it onto cables, pretty much any machine. Anything you want to do where you're pulling, this is what it's for. Uh, there's another attachment. It's basically a clamp. That goes on the arm, locks in, and you clamp it down with a butterfly clip. Now obviously, because it clamps over your elbow, you're not going to be able to go full extension. So pushing exercises, this isn't great for. But what you do is you get another arm, or you cut down this one uh, at the rubber. So you make two, cut one down before the elbow. Basically the same thing. Rubber outer sheath, put your arm in there, the pin comes through, and you can see it doesn't go over the elbow, so you can go full extension. Then you get your carbon fiber for support, locks in, you got your clamp. So this is for all your pushing exercises. If you want to do bench press, all I really do is leave it open, set the bar on top, and the weight holds it in. If you want to do dumbbells, you can clamp it over, lock it in there, spin it down, and you can do curls. Uh, I also do curls with the uh, over the elbow arm, just because it gives me a little more, uh, little more support throughout the end of my forearm. Uh, I find if I do it with this one, all of the weight presses down, on the end of my arm, so I like a little more support throughout the length of my arm. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's also another attachment if you want to do things like curls or cables and you don't want to use the arms. Basically, all I do is use a lifting hook. Uh, very easy to buy off the internet. You just put your arm through there. Always use the, the liner to protect your skin, which I found out the hard way. Just loop it through there, and you can twist your arm any angle that you want put a dumbbell in there and just curl it. And you'll have to be the judge of how far you can extend because obviously this can slip off. But it allows you to do curls with the dumbbell, get it onto the cables, you do any exercise, your imagination is your only limiting factor. So uh, get out there, just because you don't have a hand or part of an arm doesn't mean you can't train. Good luck.